Law Firm PPC. The lessons learned after spending $2.87 million across 21 practice areas. So in the past year, my company's managed just over $2.87 million in Google pay-per-click ad spend for about 21 practice areas. This includes multiple niches of personal injury, criminal defense, family law, mass torts, med mal, wrongful death, business law, real estate litigation, etc. And in just a short couple of years, we've learned and improved a lot, which has led to us being humbled to become voted as one of the top rated attorney PPC companies in the entire United States. Does this mean that we're perfect? Heck a weka no. no. It doesn't. Okay, a lot of these lessons were learned from mistakes. So, I don't know if you're a lawyer, legal marketer, running a big firm, small firm, just getting started. Maybe you've never run a PPC campaign to try and generate cases, or maybe you tried running your own PPC campaigns but didn't have the time to really master it. Maybe you didn't clearly set or measure your ROI metrics. Maybe your intake system screwed everything up. Maybe you felt that you were getting a return but you were just overpaying for cases and leads. Regardless of where you're currently at, in this video, what I'm gonna do is break down the core lessons we learned from doing law firm PPC marketing for just around 100 firms nationwide. So this is some really high value information that took a lot of pain to learn. The information that we're gonna go over here will help you make your lawyer PPC campaign profitable so you can retain high quality clients and it'll give you the right expectations for PPC and it'll ensure that you don't waste thousands of dollars on bad PPC strategies, which can cause self-pity, hatred, and bad breath. <laughs> which can cause self-pity, hatred, and bad breath. I mean this when I say you can't get this information anywhere on the interwebs, okay? Let me start off by explaining what I mean by PPC. Before we dive into the lessons learned, let's clarify what the heck I mean by PPC if you have no understanding. So PPC stands for pay per click, okay? Which is pretty self-explanatory. You can pay for clicks on ads on Google for when people type in specific keywords like personal injury lawyer, also known as paid search engine marketing. You can pay for clicks on ads on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, okay, when people are browsing around. This is called paid social. Or you can pay for display ads on really any website that allows law firms to market and through Google's display network or other networks. This is called uh, display advertising. For the purposes of this video, like I said, we're gonna be talking about paid search, more specifically Google ads, okay, formerly known as Google AdWords. By the way, stop calling it AdWords. AdWords does not exist anymore. Why is PPC for lawyers importante, okay? The list of benefits is very long, so I'm gonna try and do it in one breath. Immediate results, okay? PPC converts into phone calls at a much higher rate than SEO leads and clicks. Leads from PPC are usually better quality than lead aggregators. Paying for clicks on Google actually aligns with where Google's going as a company, pushing small businesses to use their ads more since 97% of Google's revenue comes from ads, not SEO. You can show PPC ads on Google Maps, big benefit. You can target your ads by demographics, okay? Age, household income, gender, okay? In addition to keyword searches, you can't do that on SEO. You can cater to the specific devices that convert the best, hint, hint, mobile. You can't do that on SEO. And you can use negative keywords to prevent your ads from showing up when people type in irrelevant keywords like pro bono, free, or you know, at fault injury attorney, or no injury, right? Best of all, you don't have to pay a big referral fee to other attorneys for the cases that you bring on in-house, litigate in-house from your PPC campaigns. We have clients that literally depend on their Google ads. So for those of you who are skeptical, just know that there's hope. So let's dive into the specific lessons learned after spending $2.8 million in 21 practice areas. Lesson number one, cost per lead matters, but it is not the holy grail. Okay, so many of our clients focus only on cost per lead or cost per case. However, what's more important, think about this, cost per lead or quality per lead? Cost per lead or average case value per lead? I mean, cost per signed case doesn't even matter as much as the cost per signed quality case and cost per case value. Now, it's always a delicate balance. You don't want to overpay to be in position one all the time on Google. You also want to make sure that you get a high quality score on your campaign so you don't overpay per click. You can also use artificial intelligence to do real-time bidding and time of day bidding so that you show your ads during times of day 
when it's less expensive per click. All of this is important. However, I would pay $700 per lead every day of the week if I knew 40% of those leads would convert into viable clients. Would you? Lesson number two, have a well-oiled intake system. Don't depend on your leads to follow up with you, to leave a voicemail, or to magically turn into signups without any effort on your part. Instead, make sure your phone calls are being picked up in under five rings. Make sure that your leads don't hang up on you is the bottom line and call one of your competitors. I mean, most times if you think of it, your leads are gonna be pretty emotional when they reach out to you. They'll be expecting immediate service. Also, make sure you have a follow-up system in place for those leads. Lesson number three, track everything. Keep your data, okay? Data is power. Nowadays, you need to own your Google Ad account and your Google Analytics account. This is vital. There's no such thing as losses, just lessons. If you track everything through paid advertising, if you track everything that works, everything that doesn't work for your firm, you can use those lessons and apply it to every other part of your firm's advertising strategy, your SEO strategy, your blog topics. For example, if you learn that the keyword personal injury lawyer gets tons of clicks in your market, but none of those clicks ever turn into quality cases, you probably don't want to spend an entire year creating 15 blogs that include the word personal injury lawyer in. On the other hand, if you notice that, let's say the keyword wrongful death lawyer or dog bite lawyer is low cost, frequently turning into viable cases in your market, use that data in your blog posts and in your future ads. Lesson number four, the power of the long tail keyword. Okay, never discount the value of one low traffic but high value keyword. Okay, missing one high value keyword in your campaign just because it isn't searched a lot, big mistake. For example, you're an auto accident lawyer. Always wanna be running ads for niches of motorcycle accidents, trucking accidents, because these types of cases are much higher in average case value. May only get a couple clicks a month, but landing one case every few months from a trucking accident campaign can literally make or break your ROI. Also, do some research on single keyword ad groups if you wanna try and set this up yourself. They're the only way to go when you're targeting niche demand online. Longer tail keywords, by the way, they don't really matter if you don't use the right match types. So you wanna to veer towards only using broad modified exact and phrase match keywords to ensure that your ads only show up for the most targeted keyword phrases and quality clients. Lesson five, never learn on your own dime, okay? Stop thinking you need to do this all yourself, okay? There's companies like ours and other firms that have already learned the lessons. I mean, you can waste $100,000 learning these lessons yourself, or you can seek lessons from people who have been there and done that. Lesson six, stop thinking of PPC as a one-time investment or like an on or off investment. Attorneys who are inexperienced with online advertising think that PPC is like a choice, not a necessity. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's a necessity if it's set up properly. It's important to always keep something running for your highest value potential cases or clients. Intelligently crafted campaigns going after niche high value demand, it almost never makes sense to turn these campaigns off. Again, realize that 97% of Google's revenue comes from the ads, and it's only gonna get more and more important that you have a system set up on Google ads to pull in cases, because Google is gonna make it harder and harder to rank via SEO as we keep going year by year into the future. Lesson seven, do not make long-term decisions on short-term data. With PPC for lawyers being so darn competitive, it's vital that you enter the game of PPC with patience. We've seen clients go dry with leads for months. All of a sudden, they land eight cases the next month with the highest value cases they've seen in a while, all in a row. When you enter the game of PPC, you need to look at this in annual metrics, okay? Not weekly or monthly. You may stop doing something that would have worked tremendously if you look at the data too short term. Lesson eight. Don't be lazy. When setting up your campaigns, don't use Google Ads Express. Don't create one massive campaign targeting all these general practice area keywords and then sending all the clicks, the people who click on the ads to the homepage of your website. Use very specific keyword match types and keywords. If you're gonna spend some shekels here, I like that word, make sure you set it up with precision and detail from the start so that you can track what's working and get high quality scores and make fast changes. Lesson number nine, spend more money, okay? Set a high daily budget. Last but not least, if you spend only one to 2,000 a month, which is fine, but you have three bad months, you'll likely leave with a bad taste in your mouth towards Google Ads forever. 
Spend 10,000 for a few months with a well set up campaign, no matter what niche you're in, you're probably gonna see a good ROI. Keep in mind, you don't have to pay up front for Google Ads, you pay as you go. And if you're working with a digital marketing agency, just make sure that the agency you work with is not tied to how much you're spending per month on Google, okay? This will make sure that your motives and their motives are aligned. Okay, I hope all this was helpful. Please comment below with any topics that you'd like more information on or other videos on. Like and subscribe to this channel if you wanna get notifications when we release new videos. And like this video if you liked what we had to say, of course. It is time to take your law firm to the next level with intelligently crafted PPC.